This weapon right here was one of the ones I was most excited about. And not only were my personal expectations met, like they were exceeded. I changed up my role a couple times and I wanna walk through why I did that, where the trade-off is. And this one's up there is actually one of my favorite weapons in the entire game. And technically I feel it's one of the best weapons in the game and I'm back. Quick update for my subscribers, my computer took a downturn beyond what I could repair. It got fixed, and while it was in the shop, I upgraded it. There's like four very fast SSDs. This thing is flying. And also, as I get everything set back up, my voice audio, the picture quality, it might be off a little bit. Still fine-tuning it, so thank you for your patience, but it's time to roll. This one caught my eye for a number of reasons, and the theme for a lot of these, and I mean the majority of these new Lightfall defiance weapons is they were made in such a way that they're very useful in all aspects of the game pve and the crucible and there's some crossover roles as well the philotactic spiral high impact arc pulse and when you think high impact you think messenger on the legendary side you think no time to explain we have the old stars and shadow legendary and as messenger is coming back i plan to talk about that a little bit too later on in the review and of course this pulse similar to and modeled after premonition so stat wise it's on the mid to lower end but that's completely fine it can have enhanced perks it can be rolled exactly how you want it it has perk combinations that make up for that so it's more than fine you get it from the amuna could come as a rank up and it could drop as a red border now the best way is the gold patrols loading into the harbor terminal overload once you have five road borders, you can craft it. And it's the only arc high impact in the game currently. We have the nanotech rocket, origin trait, landing multiple hits, turns your next shot into that micro rocket. And PvP wise, it helps. It can help the TTK. It deals about 29 total damage. In this clip, we have the impact and the rocket damage. It's not a lot, but it is nice. It can have you kills after you go down, help the TTK, find the target that you're hitting, find another target that's around. Just a good trait to have, and in PvE, it's extra added damage to shields and so on. Same scope as Premonition, the 1.8 standard pulse zoom. We have some great perks and perk combinations. Let me first tell you about what I crafted, what I changed, and we can talk about a high impact pulse as a whole to make it top notch. At first, I don't have the footage. It was Arrowhead Break, Ricochet, Range Masterwork, Keep Away Head Seeker. So the idea is we have 100 recoil direction. We have some stability. We got some range. Arrowhead with the 100 recoil direction was also helping its lowest stat, its handling. So get a little bit more snappy, play a lot better. It wasn't cutting it. So I changed to this and I do have footage of it. Chambered Compensator, Ricochet, Range Masterwork, same perk combo. Add in the Counterbalance mod to get to 100 recoil direction. So as I was playing, I had some common issues, and this is the game where I changed it. These do have low, low handling, the entire class. So going away from Arrowhead got me down to 21 on the handling stat, but I got stability, I got keep away. That gets it to 83 range. But while I'm testing these, and what I try to do personally for myself and to talk with you about when it comes to barrels, mag, masterwork, perk combinations, bringing all that you can out of a weapon, I kept trying to go to what I feel like is a comfortable day-to-day -day pulse range. I think like Endless Veil, mid to mid. And on Javelin here, I got into some situations where I was getting 31s, 32s, knowing that if I changed some things around, it would have downed. And if I'm on Javelin, we still have Eternity, we still have longer sight lines. It just simply wasn't cutting it. So what I landed on made all the difference. I did Extended Barrel Ricochet Counterbalance Mod. Later, I went Enhanced Keep Away to go along with Head Seeker. So this brings the handling down to a miserable 18. But we do have some acceptance in this aspect. It is a high impact. They do have low handling. Therefore, you make up for it. So I put on double or triple targeting. That's to help the aim down side speed. And it gets up to about 10 aim assist or so, eight aim assist. I am playing pulse range. And especially with Keep Away, you're at a distance, you're playing that mid to long game. So importantly is pairing a high, very high handling secondary. So in my case, most of the gameplay, I have conditional finality, 95 handling. So the pulse is kind of slow, but that really helps the ready speed. Now, listen to me. I've talked about it in the past in length in videos. And with the information from this week at Bungie talking about decoupling fall off from zoom. So that means a couple of things like range finder, scopes in general. Zoom on the weapon itself is pretty much like aesthetic. It's no longer going to push that range way, way out there. So perks like keep away, even perks like fragile focus will become S tier. Opening shot too, of course, but things like that. Like on this pulse, when we take keep away, my roll has 83 range. Keep away adds plus 10 range when you're outside 15 meters. Enhanced is plus 15 range. So this one that I have has 98 range with enhanced keep away active. It's all you need. Every bit of what you need. And when this change comes, whenever it comes, a rule like this is the gap. High max range. 
Keep Away also grants accuracy for free, just free accuracy. Enhanced is even better accuracy, even faster reload. I then have Headseeker, and that's just a cheat code on a pulse. It is. It is so good. That damage from Headseeker, just the damage part. Remember, body shots landed increase precision damage and aim assist. At one resilience, a target will survive body crit crit, body crit crit. So four crits, two body, one resilience will not go down. But with Headseeker pushing that threshold, the same scenario, it will down seven resilience and lower. At base, the combo can't down one resilience with Headseeker, seven resilience. Then we have the aim assist part, just pulling it all together. Of course, you want a two burst with all crits. That's perfect. But if you land a body shot, you are then an autopilot. So my role, the enhanced keep away, better accuracy, fast reload, 98 range. It's perfect. I'm going to enhance Headseeker when I get the materials, but enhanced keep away is first. I make up for the handling with the target mods and a high handling secondary for when people pull up on me. Could be a sidearm, could be a shotgun, could be a quick draw weapon. This thing rips. Pound for pound, one of the best overall dueling weapons in the game. Hard hitting, ease of use. 41 meters, and it can have body shots. You can't really ask for anything else. And what I'm interested in is that when the messenger comes out, we're gonna have a comparison. When you look at the perks here on the spiral, third column, under over, hip fire, compulsive reloader, shot swap, tunnel vision, perfect float, keep away, final column, elemental capacitor, harmony, gut shot, frenzy, head seeker, kill clip, volt shot. There's a chance that the next messenger coming is going to have a similar or same perk combination. Maybe it's going to have keep away head seeker, keep away kill clip, compulsive reloader kill clip. If that happens, there's a chance you can match them. Meaning whatever you use, they're going to feel fairly similar. Like I know if keep away head seeker is on the new messenger, that's going to be my go-to. And when I start pairing other weapons, the ranges, the overall feel are going to be really, really close. So that's why I went with my role. And when it comes to the Crucible, like Kill Clip is also crazy good. My main messenger is Rapid Hit Kill Clip. I missed out on the Headseeker run of it. You can make a lot of combinations work and Kill Clip's a very highly ranked PVP perk, but it's just that Headseeker allows such a wide gap of ease of use getting two bursts at base. I can't and won't pass it up. But some other combinations, Enhanced Hip Fire Grip, Enhanced Offhand Strike, Tunnel Vision Kill Clip, Perfect Float Kill Clip or Headseeker, Maybe something like Keep Away, Elmwood Capacitor, and you get this thing right up to about 100 stability on Void. But I do value the 98 range with the Headseeker kit. When it comes to PvE, we do have a workhorse here, Compulsive Reloader, Volt Shot, similar to what we did on the loop. That's a special weapon, so the Jolt modifier is gonna be a lot better. But a recent buff makes this combination, this weapon, even better for primaries. So I crafted mine for the Crucible. I plan to later on down the line when I have time to get one for PvE. But Pulse Rifles now deal 20% more damage to red and orange of our enemies. Maybe you add on a little minor spec for a little bit on top, shred through them, get Volt Shot going. It's going to be gold. There's also Arc Modifiers, maybe Weapon Modifiers. Very high ceiling. So collectively, I think it's one of the best weapons in the entire game when you consider it all. It does have everything. Very strong PvP archetype, very fast TTK. The 0.67 from a two burst claps pretty much everything. PvE wise, it has the necessary tools for an arc weapon in this current sandbox. Red borders are what's holding people up. I get it. And while my computer was down, it took me eight hours to get the final two red borders for this thing. And that was nonstop grinding. And others, maybe you might be an example, Maybe you got two or three red borders in a span of 30 minutes. So it's all RNG, but this is one to pay attention to. This is a keeper, very special, everything you want. And even with those base stats being a little bit lacking, they're not like way behind, like at all. But since you could set it up the way that you wanted to set it up with the perk combinations, getting added help from, let's say, keep away with plus 15 range, it negates all those things. And when I played with a couple variations, we're also considering the one day nerf to zoom and range finder. The 98 range makes sense. Headseeker makes sense with the 100 recoil direction. You just have to make up for the handling and we talked about that. Small trade off for a true powerhouse. I personally know it really sucks grinding these things out, but I do highly encourage you to do so. I believe that you're gonna be very happy. And I think it's a weapon you're gonna use for a very long time. It's good to be back, and if you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button, and if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Let's talk about Philotactic Spiral down below, how it holds up in the meta, how are you liking it, and how do you have yours set up. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.